I think that rule of of the story stay, mm -hmm. lessons mm -hmm. leave is really important mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. for one thing is we don't know, a story might to us look like just a trivial little thing, but to that person it could have been really hard. Yeah. And we don't know and we don't, It's because it's not face to face, it feels like it, it could just go you know, beyond right. there really quickly. And right. so, and it would be tempting to go, oh, I want to, you know, share with my roommate or mm -hmm. my partner or something, the story. And I think, I think the idea that we really need to keep that on the, the group of people who are engaging because it is so big and right. that right. diversity is great, right. but that diversity also means we need to really respect that and, yeah. you know, bring away, I can share that, wow, I just learned this thing is really different than, boy, there's this person on the online who's right. doing this right. thing, you know. Yeah. Right. And also, I mean, the world is quite small, so <laughs> the postdoc next to us or the PhD next to us might be watching this video and, uh, or reading a comment that right. might be about this person or someone yeah. that they know. Uh, so we need to leave anonymity about the situations because we want it to be general yeah. Yeah. so that other people can relate to it as well. Yeah. Yeah, trust is such a precious thing, and particularly with the different identities that we bring to the table. There's just such, uh, like you said, I mean, it's just so precious, right? And mm -hmm. it can be so raw at times and yeah. so emotionally difficult to go back to those times to then have that then explode beyond what you wanted it to, mm -hmm. right, within the confines of, a, of, of the online forum. Um, yeah, it's really important to, to keep that in mind, too. Yeah. And it can also be positive experiences, like mm -hmm. how, yes. how other people dealt well with it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so they can also share those experiences so those others can, can learn and try to emulate those situations if it's possible. The safety of the space, I think while it does provide people the, the ability to edit, right, I also think people should feel comfortable to express the parts of these conversations that make them sad or angry mm -hmm. or upset, right? Mm -hmm. I think that it's, it's, it's important to, you know, emotionally be comfortable with what it is that you're feeling at the time and to say, oh, this hurt me because of this, or, you know, this makes me angry because of that, or I'm frustrated by, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. without attacking the person, but again, uh, talking about situations or certain yeah. specifics, because I think feeling the emotions that we feel a lot of times, like you said, we edit in person, or mm -hmm. we don't, right, depending on, on <laughs> the, the way that we, right. that we move throughout the world, but I think providing a way to healthily express both good and bad things that we're feeling is also an important part of the process for what we're trying to engage in here, I think, which is yeah. the lessons and the personal growth. And the yeah. But hopefully, I mean, I think this is also a really good space for people to feel comfortable asking questions. So if you're mm -hmm. somebody yeah. who isn't marginalized along a particular axis, but, you know, somebody's brought up something about their experience, this might be a good place to, to engage in those sorts of educational conversations. And I think the onus is really on people who are coming at this without a particular axis of oppression to be respectful, to be interested, to take people at their word, and to use the, the emotional things that people are sharing productively as a, a learning experience and an educational experience so that you can take the lesson and go back mm -hmm. and improve the ways that you interact with your own space. Thank you.